following tips will be very important at the exam. They also apply to everyday life, of course, but the reason I say that they're especially important at the exam is because in those situations, sometimes people don't react or they react too late. And while in everyday life driving, in most cases, you'll be able to react before anything bad happens, at the exam, if the examiner intervenes before you do, it usually results in an automatic failure. So whenever you're in a situation where a pedestrian has priority over you, always make sure that you know their intention before proceeding. Especially at intersections with stops where pedestrians have priority and what both pedestrian and driver have to do is not as clearly defined as at a traffic light, for example. For example, in this case, it's not exactly clear where the pedestrian wants to go. So before I go, I wait until I'm sure. Here, this guy arrives at the intersection and he's looking all around, so I wait to see what he does. So in situations like these, try to make eye contact or at least make sure that they saw you. Like here, she's about to cross at a red light. So before crossing, I make sure that she sees me. So even at traffic lights where the light is red for the pedestrian, we have to be careful with this. And this is especially true nowadays when so many people walk around staring at their phones. Another thing that can happen is that they change direction. And that can happen anywhere, but especially at intersections. So again, whenever you see a pedestrian that's about to reach the corner of an intersection, keep in mind that they could do that. Some pedestrians will also come to an intersection and cross diagonally instead of crossing in the corridor they're supposed to. They're not supposed to do this, but they often do it anyway. So be aware of that too. Now, something that's very important in these situations is communication. If you come to an intersection and there's a pedestrian that has priority and they stand there staring at you, make them a hand sign to show them you're giving them priority. Obviously, pedestrians are a lot smaller and fragile than vehicles, so it's normal that they hesitate. So give them a hand sign. If they give you a hand sign back, then you can go. At least you gave them priority first. Now, I've put this clip here in one of my other videos, and I've had comments that at the exam in some places, if you give a hand sign to a pedestrian, you fail automatically because it's dangerous and so on. So let's talk about that. For clarity, I'll refer to her as Jenny for the rest of this video. First, you should never do that just anywhere. Like here, for example, this pedestrian's waiting to cross the street. I should not stop to let him pass. It's not his priority, and besides, he shouldn't be crossing the street here anyway. So if I stop and I signal him to pass, it could be dangerous for two main reasons, and that is especially true if I have a tall vehicle. First, the vehicle behind is probably not expecting me to stop there for no reason and could hit me from behind, especially if I stop suddenly. And like I said earlier about the pedestrians and the phones, unfortunately, a lot of drivers do that too. So the increased reaction time makes situations like these even more dangerous. And second, someone in the lane to my left might not see him and hit him. And something that makes it worse in a situation like this is that pedestrians tend to run in order to get out of the way of the driver that's letting them pass as quickly as possible. So that gives even less time for the driver in the other lane to react. So you should never do that, especially with kids, because they're even less conscious of the danger in this situation. And it's even worse in a situation like this one. The light is still red and the driver in front is in a hurry to go. Now this pedestrian arrives at the intersection and stops, which is what she's supposed to do because the light turned red for her. But now that the light is green for the driver in front, he's not in a hurry anymore and he's making a hand sign to the pedestrian to cross. Now, even if this is a one-way street so the vehicle is blocking other vehicles behind, there's a bicycle path here. So imagine a cyclist is coming relatively fast and doesn't see the pedestrian behind the vehicle, they could hit her. If you notice, she doesn't even look to the left after having passed the vehicle. So never stop and give a hand sign to people just anywhere. It could be very dangerous in some cases, just respect the priorities. Also, by doing this, the vehicle is blocking everybody behind at a green light, and you can't do that without a valid reason. So in this case, not only is he committing an offense, he's inviting the pedestrian to commit one too. Now here's a different situation. The pedestrian signals me, but that's before I even signal him once. So in this case, I don't go until I signal him back. 
In Jenny's case, I had already signaled, then she signaled me back, so I did my part. Make sure that you signal at least once. If then they signal again, you can go. One thing is important here though, is that if you accept their invitation to go, signal them a thank you sign before going. This is a body language conversation. By signaling them a thank you, you're basically ending the conversation with a, well, thank you. I do accept you letting me pass. Now I'm going. See ya. If you don't do this, you might both go at the same time. And like I said earlier, at the exam, the examiner might break before you do. So even if you're about to break, but the examiner breaks before you do, it's most likely automatic failure. Now in Jenny's case, I'm at an intersection with a stop sign. So first, I have to stop anyway because it's a stop sign. And second, and most importantly, she has priority because she's a pedestrian. And if this happens at my exam and I don't signal to her, I can fail. If she then signals me to go, then I go. But at least I've done two things here. I've given priority to the pedestrian, which is what I'm supposed to do. And I've shown my examiner that I know that in a situation like that, it's the pedestrian who has priority. And at the exam, it's important to show that you know what you're doing. It's an exam after all. Now notice something else in this case. She's pregnant. And situations like these happen more often with people with reduced mobility. Pregnant women, people with kids, disabled or injured people, elderly people, and so on. And if there's only one vehicle left to pass, if they let it pass, they have all the time to cross the street at whatever pace they want to. And it's totally in their right. You cannot force a pedestrian to cross if they don't want to. It is not within your authority as a driver. So what are you going to do if she doesn't want to cross right away? Here's what I suggest you do. Order a pizza and ask them to deliver it to the intersection with the driver and pedestrian exchanging hand signs like they're practicing a choreography for a postmodern dance. Because you know, you could stay there for a while. You'll be hungry. Now joking aside, I always recommend you respect the requirements that apply to wherever you're doing your exam. Of course I do. I make driving videos. But to me, that particular requirement doesn't make any sense. That's just my opinion. So to sum up, here's what you should do in a situation where a pedestrian has priority over you and you're not sure what they want to do. Try to make eye contact if possible, or at least be sure that they've seen you. If they see you, make them a hand sign to give them priority. If they make you a hand sign back, thank them and go. If they're not looking at you, watch for their body language where they're looking, their body position, and so on. If they're still standing there not doing anything, go, but always keeping an eye on them and being ready to act according to the situation. And last but not least, don't forget that you're also a pedestrian. You've been one all your life. As a matter of fact, you're a pedestrian a lot more often than you are a driver. So be nice to them when you're on the other side of the windshield. In the next video, where do pedestrians have priority? safe distances and visibility. So stay tuned, stay safe, and see you soon.